this baby. After reading the story, it is clear that the doctor was a good story teller. All the listeners were listening to him eagerly and they were curious to know the end of the story. Through his narration, of an encounter with a snake. He humorously described the kind of person he was as a young man. Therefore, the story that the doctor narrated was really a very interesting story. The doctor was full of self-love and self-importance. His wish to marry a doctor who had plenty of money and a good medical practice shows that he considered material well-being being an important aspect of his future life. Though he was poor, though he was a foolish and a stupid man, he had lot of future plans and he had a wish to become rich one day. Through the story, we come to know that the doctor himself realized when he narrated the story, we come to know that it was he himself who realized that he was a poor and a foolish doctor. He was also a stupid doctor. When he was asked to whether he had seen the snake again, he made a humorous comparison of the snake with himself. Both were attracted to the mirror and taken away with their own beauty. So, more or less, we can say that the doctor was once upon a time a very proud man, but with time and with the crisis that he had to face once, he realized what actually he was and that really is very interesting that a person had the capability of self-realization. In other words, we can say that in fact, the doctor was a great human being. Now, the message that we get from the story is the story conveys a very important message to all of us. One should not be proud of oneself. We are nothing actually without God's support or help. When the doctor realized his true worth at the time of crisis, that is, he was a poor, foolish and stupid person. The snake recoiled itself from his arm and thus his life 
was saved that's all thank you